Hey friends, welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I'm Kayla. Thanks for stopping by and checking on me today. I'm still in the hospital, but I kind of wanted to give you a little update and just give you some information about what's going on and the, the high and low of my day today. And yeah, thanks for being here. I appreciate your prayers very much, friends. Hey friends. I'm still here, hanging out, um, I wanted to come and update you guys that I am doing better, I'm feeling a lot better, they wanted to send me to a 30 day skilled nursing facility, but we didn't think that was going to work for us, me and Big Daddy, and so we talked about it with them this morning. And we've decided against that. So we're trying to get me um, back on my formula this morning. That's the plan, is to get my formula going again. So hopefully I can tolerate that. And that's a step closer to, you know, getting out of here and going home. My arm's, my arm's giving out. <laughs> so that's the plan is to try formula through my feeding tube um and then just start a medication for the gastroparesis and what caused that in me is the scleroderma hardened my smooth muscles in my stomach and so, and in my intestines, so, um, that's what's causing all that, is a scleroderma hardening smooth muscles that's supposed to work and move stuff through your system. But anyway, I'm glad we're going to get, get on formula, because I feel like that's a step closer to actually getting out the door. And that's my goal, is to get out the door and head home. I hope, I hope so. Yeah, we didn't feel like the, um, going to a 30-day skilled nursing facility was going to work for us. Um, first off, I wouldn't even see Big Daddy except for on the weekends because he gets off work at 5 p.m., and they don't allow visitors after 6 p.m. So, um, I wouldn't get to see him. And I would just be there by myself, you know. So, not doing that. And, yeah, that's about all for right now. I'll come back and update some more in a little bit. Okay, guys, so for breakfast, I had some apple juice and beef broth, coffee, and jello. I didn't eat the jello because I'm, I don't really like jello. I'll eat some every now and then, but I didn't feel like trying it right now. And the coffee was super cold and just did not taste good. <laughs> I ate some of the beef broth and um, I drank my apple juice. So that's where I'm at. And then for lunch, they said they're going to give me a soft food diet, like mashed potato consistency. So maybe I'll tolerate something like that. And then um, the formula is also on the menu for today. So I'm ready for that. <laughs> so ready for that. All right, guys. I just thought I'd kind of update you throughout the day here and let you know what's going on and how things are progressing. Here's my lunch tray which is a popsicle, jello, some broth, um, 
a juice, a Sprite, and some tea. So it's all liquids, and pretty much I'm tired of liquids. <laughs> I'm ready for something else. So very much. The liquids have just got to be too much. And I'm just sitting here watching Law and Order on USA. And still that big old empty couch. You're welcome to come have a seat and visit with me. Uh, I know you guys don't live close enough for that. I'm just picking. But anyway, Kim that lives a couple of towns down from me might come up today to visit. So that'll be nice. I guess I'm going to um, drink my apple juice. Nothing else really sounds appealing from that. I thought I'd show you guys this. You know how when you go to the doctor or hospital or something and they put the... Um, oxygen sensor thing on your fingers to, you know, check your stats, O2 stats there. Well, those don't work on my hands because, you know, I have this on this hand and then on my other hand, I just have my thumb. And because I have Raynaud's and the issues with my fingers, those don't work for me. So they got me this little it's called a, a nasal sensor, but we stick it on my ear. I thought I would show you guys this. And when I leave, I can take this with me. So I'll have it in my purse when I go to the doctor. Um, they can just plug this into their little machine thing. And on the other end is a little piece it clips to my ear. I guess it can clip to your nasal or your ear, but we're doing it on my earlobe. And it um, takes my, checks my oxygen level. So that's pretty neat that we're able to do it that way instead of trying to fight and fight and fight with the little things that clamp on your fingers because those don't work for me. So I'll take this home with me and just keep it in my purse. And whenever I go to the doctor for doctor visits, um, I can just whip this out and they can plug it up and um, be able to take my oxygen. So anyway, I thought that was neat that I'll have one of these now. So I'm still waiting. <laughs> I'm holding out because I don't want to drink any of that. I know it doesn't seem like a big deal unless you've been sitting here for days. <laughs> I'm ready for something with some substance. I've requested a boost drink and the doctor approved it and was putting the order in when she left my room. She had her tablet putting it in and they still haven't brought me one and I've asked for one about four or five times now. And I still haven't got one, so pretty disappointed. I know they're busy. I know that, you know, there's lots of things going on and I'm not the most important person here, but I'm holding out. <laughs> oh, I, I'm trying not to be a pest about it. But I have asked about it several times because I feel like I just need something heavier in my stomach besides just water. 
even the broth. It's just hot water, you know. It's not anything that kind of makes you feel like you had anything. And I don't know that the boost will, but it would just be something. Ugh. So I thought I would update you guys on my arm. It is still um, swollen. I know you probably can't tell that in the video, but it is still swollen and tingly and numb feeling. And I'm just going to be very, very honest. That scares the living daylights out of me. Because that is what's happened to my fingers in the past before they were amputated. And so they did check for ultrasound, by ultrasound, and a scan. And I do not have a blood clot. But they did have a name for it and called it something. I can't think of what, but... Anyway, we're keeping my arm elevated and putting hot compresses on it and just trying to um, kind of baby the arm a little bit. It hasn't gotten worse, but it really hasn't gotten better. So I am worried about that. So I do ask you to please continue to pray that the swelling goes down and... Um, the, you know, numbness and tingling and all that does go away. Um, and the doctor said not to let anyone stick me with anything to draw blood or anything like that except through my port. I have a port on my chest for that reason. But see, um, it has to be like a nurse maybe even an RN nurse to access this. Um, like just a lab technician can't do it. So they always want to draw your blood through your skin. And my body just can't handle it. I just cannot handle that. And I need um, mine to be only my port. And then when you tell them that, they get mad because... Um, I'm not talking about just this doctor's visit. I'm talking about any time I have to have blood drawn in the past. They get mad about that because they, um, you know, it takes a lot more time and effort and a whole nother ordeal and process to it. And I realize, you know, they're busy. They have a lot going on. And they're just trying to hurry through to get to the next patient in most cases. And so anyway, the doctors told me not to let anyone poke me for anything except through the port. And that's going to be an issue when I have to do how things done in Shreveport at um, the pain clinic when I have to get a refill because they do refuse to use the port. So anyway, I just thought I'd update y'all on that, that I am still concerned about my arm, and I'm, you know, praying about that, but I am thankful that there was no blood clot, and also there, um, it's not getting worse, so, well, hang in there, appreciate your prayers. So I finally got a boost drink. Oh, it took forever to get this. It was so good. I really, really felt a little bit better after drinking it because it actually, you know, made me feel like I had something. So that was good. And uh, my friend Kim from Columbia came up to visit me and she was here when they brought me the boost. Hey, Kim, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I enjoyed it so much. She lifted my spirits, and we just talked about everything that you can imagine. Our kids, and our crochet, and our life, and, um, you know, things we like and don't like, and stuff like that. We had a great visit. I enjoyed it very much. And so once I get home and I'm well, She's going to come up and spend the day with me one day crocheting. 
been hanging out. That'll be fun. I still hadn't drank any of these yet, but I'm going to set these over to the side to... I might drink this, though, here in a minute. I'm going to set these two over to have for later. And I didn't ever eat the popsicle. It's all melted now. But anyway... So I am on Finnegan, Zofrin, Protonics, and Reglan, and I am still just sitting here refluxing like crazy while my friend um, Kim was here visiting me. I was just refluxing the whole time, just having a hard time, and I was still getting waves of no nausea. Um, even though I'm on all that medication for that, I don't know. I just don't know what to do about it. Um, and I'm on those around the clock. Like every so many hours, I get um, a Zofrin. And a couple hours later, I get a Reglan. And, this, and these are going through my, um, my port. So they're IV medications. And then a couple hours later, I get protonics a couple hours later i get finnergan and then it just starts over a couple of hours later is zofrin again so it's around the clock so i don't know anyway my hope is that i get out tomorrow they still hadn't started my formula i did get to drink that boost but they're supposed to be... Oh, guys, I got so sick. The nurse came and gave me some Zofrin and a wet rag to put on my throat here. That always helps me. So I'm just trying to calm down. I tried to tell the nurse that that doesn't necessarily mean I'm still sick because this is part of my everyday life. Like, this happens at home all the time, like, you know, every day. So it's not necessarily that I'm still sick for the reason being in here. It's just part of my life. So I didn't realize that was still on. <laughs> anyway, um... Just trying to push that down let me see so as I was about to say is so I don't know if they're gonna try formula today or not I hope that they would because like I said uh, that's just part of my life throwing up like that so um hopefully they'll still let me try the formula through my feeding tube today and then um, go from there and hopefully go home tomorrow. Actually, I have a doctor's appointment in Shreveport on Friday with the pain pump doctor. And if I cancel that appointment, it could take a month to get a new appointment to get back in. So I don't really want to cancel that appointment and risk not being able to get in. So, anyway, that's what I'm dealing with. I think I'm just going to close my eyes for a while and try to rest. And, see, I'm still refluxing. I'm still just, still fighting it. Hey, friends. I've ended up letting them make me sick. They did my formula through bolus instead of running it through a pump and I just I can't handle bolus feet and now I'm just so sick I wish I hadn't allowed them to do it but it was the doctor's orders and the nurse couldn't do anything else like she couldn't change to a pump because the doctor's orders said to bolus 
and I just cannot handle bowless feet. I never have been able to. I need my two feedings to run through a pump really slow. So, I was so hoping and looking forward to this working so I could go home in the morning. Like Thursday morning, I was hoping to go home. I don't know. I appreciate your prayers. Just pray that something happens and I do get out of here. Because I want to make my appointment Friday in Shreveport. And when I do, I am getting a referral to see a GI doctor in Shreveport also. So, there will pro probably be some changes with my feeding tube. They mentioned a GJ. Um, I had a GJ one time before, actually. I forgot about that. That's where your tube goes into your stomach and to your intestines. Um, part of it will go into your intestines. So I did have that a long time ago. And it would never stay in place. So if they have to do that, I hope it stays in place. They even stitched it in at one time and it didn't stay. Anyway, I'm sorry to come on here and be so down and not feel well. But I want you guys to understand like what it is living with chronic illness. That Not just me. There's people out there everywhere, you know, all over living with these chronic illnesses and trying to carry on life at the same time trying to you know live life and be happy and you know spend times with loved ones and such and so I just want you to know that this is the normal for a lot of people not just me and I know a lot of times on my videos, I come on and I'm just happy and just, you know, trying to make the best of it and pushing forward and doing a video. And you don't see the day-to-day -day struggles. I mean, sometimes I do tell you about them, but you don't see it because I don't like recording this type of video. I like recording videos where I'm, you know, joking around and showing you my crochet work and you know having a good time but this is real life right here and sometimes real life sucks i'm so upset that i'm getting sick but i did try to tell the doctor that that's the norm for me it doesn't mean like a setback it's just part of my norm but now the bolus feed didn't go well. But again, I tried to tell them that I have to have my feeding slow through a pump and not so fast like bolus. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today and just getting a glimpse into my day from... And that's just norm. It's just a normal. Right. Alright guys. I'm going to go close out this video. Big Daddy's on his way up here. He'll be here in a minute. And I will see you all in the next video. Love you guys. Bye. Friends, I hope you're having a wonderful day. And enjoying your hobby. Whatever it may be. I thank you for coming by and checking on me. I know that you're all concerned and wanting to know what's going on with me. and So this was a little day in my life in the hospital.